your life. Oh, really? Okay. Is it on? Connection? Yeah. Should we pin it? Yeah. Let's pin our title so that people know. So we're on, right? Yeah? Hi, everybody. Hello, good evening. Hope you're all doing well. We are on Morley Rituals Instagram Live today. My name is Angelina, Angelina Chigani. Um, let me just introduce myself. Should we wait for a few more people to come on? Um, we don't want anybody to miss anything. So thank you, Morley Rituals. Thank you both for allowing me to come on here and cook a very simple Ayurvedically inspired recipe for all of you today. It's a pleasure. It's 6 p.m. here in Barcelona, 5 p.m. for you guys in the UK. And let us know where you're all coming in from. Say hi. Um, you know, any questions, of course, please feel free to keep asking me as we go along. We're going to be doing uh, a very simple recipe. Well, it's kind of like a two in one recipe. But uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Angelina Chugani. I'm a private chef, cookbook author and um, now completely inspired by the world of Ayurveda for about a year and a half now. So my path has shifted and I feel better than ever and that's why I'm here to spread the word and connect it with um, wonderful souls like Molly Rituals. So here we go. Um, okay, so we're gonna do a couple of things. If you have been uh, checking our stories, you'll know the ingredients. I'm not sure if anybody's cooking along today. If you are, give me a thumbs up. If not, and you'd rather just watch this and cook later, do take some notes, yeah? Um, so let me just tell you what we're doing. We're doing some carrot fritters, and we're doing a delicious anti-inflammatory turmeric dressing to go with them, okay? Um, so the reason I chose this recipe is because A, it's super simple, okay? B, we're getting into summer. We don't want to be slaving away in the kitchen for too long. We want to, now that we can start getting a bit more outside, we want to get out more and do things outside and not be like in hot kitchens, right? So this is something super simple. It has super healthy whole ingredients, which is what we want, okay? And these are things that are very easy to find, really, really easy to find, okay? So I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna start. And if anybody has any questions, I have my beautiful daughter behind the camera who is going to answer, well, ask the questions and I will answer them for you. So here we go. So I've got some grated carrots. Okay, so those are gonna go in now. About two, I've got about two and a half carrots, which were quite big actually. So I've got all of those going in there. Now you can do this with a mix of vegetables, you can combine other stuff. Um, you know, this recipe is designed to be super easy for you. So easily adaptable is what we need nowadays, right? Because still we're not like wanting to go out too much and, and focus on, on all these ingredients and things. And maybe when we can't find something, we want an alternative. So you can mix up the vegetables and do different things. I have a grated spring onion here. You could use fennel. Um, I wouldn't use an onion that's too strong in this case because we don't want something that's too overpowering. Okay, then I've got um, some garlic powder here. Now, the reason I've used garlic powder uh, as opposed to fresh garlic is because garlic burns really quickly. And when we have the garlic powder, it's just a sort of more subtle flavor as well. And what we want in summer are flavors that are gonna be more cooling and more calming and sweeter in nature, right? So we don't want anything that's gonna be like too overpowering for us at the moment because our bodies as it is have a lot of pitta, they have a lot of heat in them. So what we're looking to do is calm our bodies down rather than rev them up. When we want to rev them up, that's in winter. When we need more fire in our bellies, that's in winter. But right now, we want to have a strong digestive fire, but we don't want it to be overly heated, okay? Especially if you are pitta by nature, um, it's just a better idea to go a bit softer with your spices and with your ingredients. Okay, so I'm just mixing that up a little bit. Do we have any questions? Anybody asking anything? No? Is anybody cooking with us? <laughs> okay, so 
I've got that mixed up now, and now comes the interesting part. So we're gonna add in our spices, okay? So here we go. Now I've gotta show you this. I'm not sure if you can see. Is that clear? Yeah? Can we see that? Yeah? Okay, so here I've got some turmeric, some ginger powder, coriander powder. I've also got some fennel seeds, some cumin seeds, and some flax seeds, okay? Now, the reason I've chosen these particular spices is because coriander, cumin, and fennel are extremely cooling and calming spices and are great for our digestive system, okay? So this just these are just things that are gonna help us along, which is amazing. So we've got the coriander powder going in, the fennel seeds, the cumin seeds. We've got some ginger powder and some turmeric powder. And we've got the flax seeds. Doesn't that already look so pretty? And we haven't even done anything with it yet. Okay, so we've got all of that stuff gone in. Okay, let me just take that away. Okay, so we give that a good mix. There we go. It's already starting to smell amazing and we haven't even cooked it yet. So, we mix that up. And just by seeing something so vibrant, you know, the natural um, color of carrot is just so inviting and it just makes you want to eat it. So why not? And you can do it with a mix of different kinds of carrots. If you have the purple carrots where you live, um, if you have like, you know, a mix of colors, feel free to do that, to add those in. I just added some Maldon salt now. So just combining it really well so that we have all the spices in there. You've got to be a little bit patient. I often do this with my hands, but I'm going to try to stick to doing it with a fork today. Okay. So there we go. Now, that looks pretty good to me. Now, you know, this is what we want is a sort of batter. So we want it to be a thick batter. We don't want it to be watery or runny. So what we're going to do is we're first going to add the binding agent. Now in this case, I've got some chickpea flour. So we keep it completely gluten free. Okay. So I'm going to add in a little bit of chickpea flour at first. You know, when it comes to things like this, um, sometimes an exact measurement won't work. So you've got to add it little by little to see the consistency and how you want your batter to really be because sometimes you may want it thicker sometimes you may want it thinner that's completely your call so basically we're just mixing that up okay and what we want is for it to kind of like bind together right so we're just going to give that a good mix okay and i will keep adding a little more as we go and then what i'm going to do at the end is i'm going to add a bit of water just to make sure that it's sort of, um, you know, it sticks together well and it's not too dry either, okay? So, although there is some water coming out from the vegetables, so we've got the carrots and the onions that release their own water in this. So, we've got that. Okay, so we keep mixing that up. How's everybody doing that side? Everybody good? Yeah? No questions yet? Okay, no questions yet. All right. So let's keep going and mixing that up. And also, when it comes to the spices, you can um, change the spices up as well. So if you're going to make this in winter, you could use spices that are a little more warming, like garam masala. Garam masala has things like cinnamon, cloves, um, nutmeg sometimes, lots of black pepper, um, coriander as well. So, you know, it's about sort of changing it as the season changes, you know, and that's what we want. So in this case, I've added some more cooling spices, but in the winter you can add more warming spices and that really works well. Okay. So we've almost, we're almost there. Okay. It's requires a little bit of elbow grease, <laughs> but I will keep going and keep the sustain. And if you want to just 
take a close up of that, Ali. That way they can see how it's coming along. Yeah, can you get that? So it's sort of now you can see it's sort of binding really, really well together. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that we don't have any bits of the chickpea flour floating around on, on its own. And just keep sort of folding that through. Okay. Now I, I'm not going to add any more salt at this point because I think that I'd like to do one to try first. And I recommend that you always do this when you're preparing anything in a batter consistency. It's always better to try one first and then add salt accordingly. I mean, I could even try it now as well because there is no egg in this. It's, you know, completely egg free. So it is vegan actually at this point. However, when I do cook them, I'm gonna add a little bit of ghee to the pan. But you can choose to add olive oil or coconut oil when you cook them so that it's completely vegan. I'm using ghee because ghee is a very cooling fat to use. And in Ayurveda, we love ghee. It just, it heals. It's such a healing fat and it's so good for you that it just lubricates and it gets to all the right places. And it actually is very, very cooling. So if you can see this now, I've added some water. I've added about, I would say, a quarter of a cup of water. So that's about 60 ml of water. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, okay? So I'm gonna leave that for a second now. Normally when we make anything that has, that we have this sort of a batter, we leave it to rest for a bit. So leaving it to rest for a few minutes is a good idea. So we're gonna leave it to rest for a few minutes. And meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to prepare the dressing, which is great. And I'm also gonna heat up the pan slightly. So. Let's heat that up. And now I'm going to prepare the dressing. It's super, super simple. And this is a dressing, as I said, which is anti-inflammatory because we've got turmeric in there. We've got ginger in there, which is great. So the base of this um, dressing is tahini. Now tahini is basically ground up sesame seeds. Okay. So that's the base of this dressing. And this dressing goes with a number of things. It's great. So I'm putting the tahini in first. Let's get that in there. Okay. Then we've got some lemon or lime juice. In this case, I've got some lemon juice going in. So that's gonna give us a nice citrusy flavor. So what we wanted, what I was looking for for this dressing was to cover like the six tastes of Ayurveda. So we've got sweet because we've got some maple syrup going in there. We've got salty because I'm going to add some salt. We've got sour because I've got some vinegar, some lime. Okay. Um, bitter because we've got the turmeric going in. So I'm putting in about a teaspoon. Now this is pure maple syrup. Okay. Very important that you have pure maple syrup going in there. Some ginger. About a teaspoon of grated ginger. You could use ginger powder as well if you like. Okay, and of course, some turmeric. About half a teaspoon of turmeric going in there. Okay, and I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. And we can always taste to see later if we need some more. And I'm just gonna simply blend this up with my hand blender. So it's as easy as that, you could do it with a whisk, I like to use my hand blender because it just blends everything really, really nicely. So here goes. Let me just give that a little bit of a taste. 
How long can you keep this dressing for? This dressing can sit in the fridge for about a week, I would say. Not more than that. That is amazing. It's actually perfect. I really like it because it has a balance of all the flavors. It's sort of like a vinaigrette, but with that extra hit of ginger and turmeric, you can really get that. You can add a bit more lemon if you want it a little more citrusy. You can play with the flavors. Yeah, this will sit for a week in the fridge easily. More than that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. So, okay, let me get that out here. So that's a beautiful, vibrant color. Can you see that? It's like the sunshine. It's really lovely. Okay. So we've got that ready. Let me just put my dressing over here, actually. Okay. So now we're going to start doing the fritters. So let me just bring my pan over. No. Should I bring the pan over? Or are you going to pan over? Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to start with a little bit of ghee. I've got my pan nice and hot already. Okay, so make sure that when you are doing this, you've got your pan nice and warm and ready to go. And I'm going to put a spoon of ghee in there. Now, I make my own ghee, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. Always good to make your own ghee. Okay, so I'm just going to put that and spread that across the bottom of the pan. I don't want too much. You can also do this in the oven, actually. So if you want to do this in the oven, I suggest that um, you sort of spray your oven tray with a little bit of olive oil, okay? And then you put the fritters on there and then spray the top of, of the fritters as well. I just like to do it in the pan because I can control it more easily this way. How do you make ghee? Oh, okay. Well, I will. I can tell you in a private message or I can send you a recipe. Actually, I'm planning on doing an IGTV video about that soon, so I will keep you posted. It's a bit of a long process to explain now. But it is super easy to do. And once you make your own ghee, I'm telling you, there is no going back. So, okay, I've got about a tablespoon of the fritters, the fritter here. So I'm going to drop that in the pan. Just flatten it slightly. I kind of like them to be palm size. I think that that kind of works for the whole family. So just keep dropping in a tablespoon at a time and just keep flattening it. You can shape them properly with like a mold or something if you like. I like mine to be a little bit more rustic actually. So I would just use a tablespoon or two like just to drop them in there. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, can you see that? So they're sizzling quite nicely. We want to get a nice color on them. And you see how easy that was to put together. It really takes no time at all. And they smell really, really good already. So, and as I said, you can mix up vegetables. You can, you know, play around with some vegetables. Just make sure that the vegetables you use are not too watery in nature. And if you want to use, for example, courgette and mix that with a carrot, you can. But you need to make sure then that the courgette is sitting and sort of draining for a little bit in a colander so that all the water comes out. We've done this recently on a course of mine because I'm doing an a online cooking course at the moment. So we did some courgette fritters a couple of weeks ago, which were very similar, actually. Um, and everybody absolutely loved them. So that was great. So I'm just going to crank up the heat a little bit. And this needs about five minutes per side, depending on how hot your pan is. So I'm going to do a few so that you can see how they come out. Does anyone have any other questions? Is everybody good? Just to send recipe details, please. Recipe details, yes. So the ingredients are posted on the Molly Rituals um, Instagram page. Okay, and what I can do is then I can just write down the actual, well, they also have the entire recipe, so maybe they will post the recipe after this, and if not, I will be probably doing a post in a couple of days with this recipe again on my Instagram page, yeah? 
So you can see I've got lots of recipes on, I have two Instagram accounts. One is Soul Veda Kitchen, which is a newer account based on Ayurveda and more sort of wellness and holistic lifestyle and food. And then my original account, which is Angelina Chugani Soul Spices, is one that I've had for quite a few years now. And that has a lot of recipes on that. So if you want to go check that out, please feel free to do so. Can this IGTV be uploaded? Yes, I think it will be uploaded after this, right after this. So don't worry, it'll be there. Okay, I'm just gonna sort of see if, make sure that they're not sticking to the pan. So ideally a non-stick pan would work like perfectly for this. So I'm gonna try and flip one now and see how it goes. Yeah, that's looking nice and golden already. So I'm gonna start flipping them over. Your pan is very nice. What uh, brand is it? Oh, this is Bra, B-R-A. It's a French brand. Um, but you can get these, um, I know that you can get them on Amazon. So you can get them anywhere. I think I actually got these a few years ago and it comes in a set of three. And they are really, really good. They work really well, they're non-stick, um, really, really practical, easy to wash. Any Ayurveda courses or books that you recommend in the UK? What's a good starting point for learning? Oh, so I'm actually a student um, still at the moment at an Ayurveda school in the UK. So I go to London, I was going to London every month to study before quarantine happened. Uh, so a, an amazing school that I go to, it's called Ayurveda Pura, P-U-R-A. Um, it's in Greenwich. Um, so near the O2 Stadium, if you live in London, if you're familiar with that. Um, they also have a lot of webinars on their site that you can follow. My teacher is called Dr. Deepa Upte. She's fantastic. She's an amazing teacher. You should check out her Instagram page, actually. She does a lot of live chats and webinars. She's very, very active on social media. Um, and apart from that, in the UK, um, I am not quite sure. Um, but of course, Vasant Ladd is the original Ayurveda teacher who runs his school from the US. And his website is full of resources as well. There's a lot out there. It's just about seeing how and where to start from, you know? Where are you originally from? Your Spanish is awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually, I'm, in, I'm of Indian origin. I was born and brought up in London, in the UK, actually. Um, and I have been living in Barcelona now for just under 20 years. It'll be 20 years in September. So yeah, I've been here for quite a while now. <laughs> so my Spanish better be good. <laughs> And I teach my courses in English and Spanish, so. Please, can you type the names of your teacher? Yeah, Deepa, Ali, if you can type. Yeah. Um, Deepa, D-E-E-P-A. Yeah. Space, Apte, A-P-T-E. A-P-T-E. She has an amazing blog as well, where she shares a lot of her insights. She's fantastic. I mean, I lucked out finding this teacher of mine. She's really, really wonderful. Yeah, I'm flipping these over one more time because they're quite thick. I want to make sure that the inside is nicely done as well. But if you want to get a shot of this, Ali, because it looks, they look really yummy. They're looking good and they smell awesome. They're almost there. This looks yummy. Will the recipe live video uh, be available later? Yeah, uh, Molly Rituals will have the IGTV on their account. And um, I think in a couple of days I'll also put it on my, on my Instagram as well. What has your experience been at Ayurveda Pura? How often are the classes and the course? So I'm doing a diet and lifestyle course. Um, and that's a sort of almost a one year course that I started last year. Um, fantastic experience. I can't speak more highly of it. It was fan really, really amazing. Learned so much um, from her. She's a wonderful teacher. Really explains things in a way that are so um, just, you know, it's just for the everyday person to understand, you know. And she really comes from a very genuine place. 
So I find that my experience so far has been great. I was almost finished. Um, we were finishing in March actually when lockdown happened so we couldn't do our last module unfortunately and I would have had my diploma in July and I would have been a certified Ayurveda practitioner. Um, but I'm almost there and uh, you know she's been great at giving us a lot of in input um, and a lot of insight. So um, yeah, I highly recommend it. I think it's wonderful. Um, and I chose the diet and lifestyle course because that is my path and that's how I'm here teaching this today. Um, and, but there are other courses that she does which are phenomenal. So I really encourage you to check them out. Okay, so I'm going to get these out now of the pan. Just going to put them, I've got a plate here with a bit of kitchen paper just to drain the excess off. Okay, so then, you know, you obviously keep going, you get quite a bit from this. I'm not going to carry on doing them now because you've seen how they're done, but I'm going to show you how I serve them. So, let me just put this over here. Okay. So now, just to serve them, what I like to do is, I've got some lovely rocket leaves, okay? This is gonna be our sort of bitter element to the, to the dish. And it's always nice to have some leafy greens, right? So I've got, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on them, just to dress them up a little bit. And a bit of salt. Okay. And then just coat them like so. And this is just such a great dish. If you're starting to go out on picnics as well, fantastic for a day out. If you're entertaining friends and you want something just easy and simple to do, I highly recommend this. Okay. And what you want is a whole different, like sort of, you want layers of flavor, you know, which is why we start with the leafy greens and then you've got your lovely fritters. So you can just sort of pile them up like that. Let's put another one on there. Okay. Doesn't that look lovely? And some dressing, of course. Let's put in a little bit of the dressing on the side. Here. Can you teach us Spanish empanadas? Spanish empanadas, okay, definitely, for sure. Um, I'd have to figure out a way to make them slightly more um, uh, Ayurvedic in that sense, but yeah, for sure, definitely, I would love to do that. Which other veg can you make like this, courgettes? Yes, as I said, you can use courgettes, fantastic with this, but if you're gonna use courgettes, it's really important, mm, that dressing is so good, it's really important to make sure that you uh, grate your courgettes ahead of time, put them in a colander so that and you press them out, put a little bit of salt so that the moisture comes out of the courgettes before you make the fritters. Otherwise the fritters will be too watery. So you need to make sure that that step is done first. Okay? And that is your lovely, ooh, can't see? Yeah, there. So carrot, spiced carrot fritters on a bed of uh, rocket, you don't have to do that, and some lovely um, anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory turmeric and tahini dressing. And that looks pretty, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? It just makes you want to eat it. See, the thing about food is also, we eat with our eyes and color is everything. So when you've got a combination of natural vegetables and beautiful spices, you can't really go wrong because spices really enhance everything to another level. So I urge you to cook with spices, to just make sure that your kitchens are colorful and bright. And just for everybody to know, I'm quite famous here in Spain for my spice box. 
It's not a big deal in the UK, I know, because everybody in the UK probably has one of these. But over here, this is something that a lot of people just love and they are very curious about. So always have your spices ready to go in your kitchens and always make sure that turmeric is the central point of your spice box because turmeric is my favorite spice. It is the anti-spice in the good sense, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antifungal. It just covers so many points and it's fantastic. So definitely make sure that you're adding your turmeric to everything, especially now, because now that we're sort of easing out of lockdown, it's really important that we maintain our immunity levels high and turmeric and ginger are key in keeping you safe and healthy. So please do that. That looks really pretty. And if you do make them, please tag me, okay? Soul Spices Kitchen or Soul Veda Kitchen. Have a look at my Instagram page for more inspiration. And thank you so much, Morley Rituals, for having me today. I hope you enjoyed that and hope to come back again soon with another easy recipe. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. See you soon. If you have any other questions, please message me privately. I'm right here.